Welcome back, fellow explorers. Today, we delve into the mysterious and thrilling world of deep sea exploration. In this episode, we will uncover the shocking story of the Titan submersible implosion. The Titan submersible is a remarkable piece of engineering designed by Ocean Gate. The Titan submersible can carry five people to depths of 4,000 meters. The length of this submersible is roughly 6 meters. The dimensions of Titan are like those of an SUV. It is originally planned that the Titan trip would take no more than 24 hours. Titan is equipped with a 96-hour oxygen reserve. It is important to understand why the Titan is called a submersible rather than a submarine. Without the aid of any means, submarines reach the depths and return. Titan is carried by a ship and released into the ocean. So, the Titan is submersible not a submarine. Part of its navigation system is on the ship. In 2021 and 2022, Titan went to the deep ocean 10 times, most of which was the wreck of the Titanic ship. The acoustic system of Titan enabled it to locate the route and the main ship. Four electric motors controlled and corrected Titan's trajectory. Using a game console, these engines can be controlled. With the assistance of a platform, Titan was launched into the water and then separated from the platform at a depth of 9 meters. Titan reaches the location of the wrecked Titanic ship in 1.5 to 2 hours. Submersible originally intended to begin the descent at 8 a.m., but with delay, the Titan started its journey at 12 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time on Sunday the 28th of June. Communications between the submersible and the surface vessel are lost 1 hour and 45 minutes after starting its descent. Titan is scheduled to return to the surface but fails to appear. The Titan submersible succumbed to the relentless pressure of the ocean, resulting in a catastrophic implosion. What is water pressure? Water pressure refers to the force exerted by the weight of water at a certain depth. It increases with depth due to the weight of the water column above. The standard unit for measuring pressure is Pascal. In the context of deep sea exploration, water pressure becomes extremely high as you descend to greater depths. The pressure increases by approximately one atmosphere, equivalent to around 101,325 pascals, for every 10 meters of depth. For example, at a depth of 1,000 meters, the water pressure would be around 100 times greater than at the surface. These immense pressures pose significant challenges for deep sea exploration and require specialized equipment and materials to withstand them. It is believed that Titan was 3,500 meters when contact was lost. Considering the depth of the vessel, the amount of water on board would have been equivalent to the weight of the Eiffel Tower, tens of thousands of tons. In the depths of the ocean where the Titanic sank, the pressure is 400 times greater than the atmospheric pressure. Swimmers should avoid swimming at depths greater than 40 meters since the human body is not designed to withstand pressures greater than 4 atmospheres without equipment. Although professional divers have reached depths of 250 meters in limited cases without the use of protective equipment, the human body is composed of solid, liquid, and gas components. There is a major problem with the body's gaseous component. Since the human lung contains the greatest amount of air, it is the most pressured organ. The volume of the lungs is half at a depth of 10 meters, and the volume is the size of a tennis ball at a depth of 250 meters. Having understood how high the water pressure was at the time of the submersible collision, we can understand why five people could not withstand such pressure. Titan is equipped with safety sensors that are activated in the event of danger, reversing the submarine to the water surface. Quickly as possible, initially, the electric motors are turned on, followed by the inflation of the balloons and the release of the lead weights, ensuring a swift return to the surface of the water for the Titan. Also, in times of danger, sandbags were installed on board, which dissolved in the water and facilitated the return of the Titan to the surface. After 10 hours, it is automatically activated. When the submarine is in good health, all of these systems are used. Due to Titan's explosion, 
none of these sensitive senses are functioning. This unfortunate incident has been attributed to a variety of reasons by scientists. The main reason for this is the material used in Titan. Carbon fiber is used in the middle of Titan and titanium is used at the front and end. These materials are connected by bolts and nuts. Although carbon fiber is a strong material, its disadvantage is that it does not show any structural problems until the time of the accident. Another factor may be the corrosion of metals due to the interaction with the ocean's salty water and the difference in expansion and contraction between titanium and carbon fiber. After this incident, some of the submersible's wreckage was removed from the water. Since the titanium part is intact and no carbon fiber is present in the parts pulled from the water, it is more likely than not that carbon is the cause of the problem. In the moment of implosion, what happened to the Titan at this depth? Submersible hulls collapse at approximately 1,500 miles per second. It takes approximately 1 millisecond for the system to collapse completely. Approximately 25 milliseconds are required for the human brain to respond instinctively to a stimulus. It is estimated that the human rational response takes no more than 150 milliseconds from the point of sensing to the point of acting. Hydrocarbon vapors are present in high concentrations inside submarines. A rapid implosion of the hull is followed by an explosion as the air auto-ignites when the hull collapses. Human bodies incinerate and are turned to ash and dust instantly. There is an explosion equivalent to 50 kilograms of TNT caused by Titan. The lessons learned from this incident will undoubtedly contribute to safer and more ambitious journeys into the depths. That concludes our dive into the Titan submersible implosion. Join us next time as we continue to unravel the secrets of our fascinating planet. Until then, keep exploring, stay curious, and never stop pushing the boundaries of knowledge.